Hey guys, it's your girl Dr. Yeti. Welcome back to my channel, The Bomb Bomb V, aka The Good Good Life. Today I'm recording on my phone. I really wanted to get to the words, so let's get to it. I want to talk to you guys about why your prayers are not being answered. Your prayers might be taking long sometimes. You might just need to have faith, but sometimes those prayers are not being answered. Matthew 7 verse 7, ask and you shall receive. So we know that whatever we ask God for, we will receive it. But what exactly are we asking God for? And are you deserving of this thing that you're asking God for? Because God hears your prayers, but he only answers prayers that are according to his will. Okay, so 1 John 5 verse 14 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Are you asking God to put the desires in your heart that are according to his will? Sometimes God places desires in our hearts. But sometimes those desires are not from God. Those desires could be from the enemy. It could be from things you see your friends doing. It could be things you see on TV, on social media. Are those desires in alignment with the will of God? Because God's will will be done on earth. There's no question about it. So, are your desires in alignment with this will that God has in store for you? If not, you need to pray to God that God removes desires from your heart that are not in alignment with his will and that he only places desires in your heart that is in alignment with his will. Are you obedient to God? Do you follow God's laws? his commandments? Do you have conviction in your heart for something that you're doing right now, but you continue to do it? So are you willfully sinning, willfully sinning, unrepentant sin? Are you hearing God? God, God talks to us every single day. Sometimes we don't have that ear to hear because we are not we don't have that relationship with him. So you have to find ways, read your Bible, pray more fast so that you can develop that relationship with him so you can hear what he says. Because I'm gonna let you know right now from personal experiences, when God tells me to do something and I don't do it, I face the consequence of not obeying him. So you have to obey him because like I said, in um, Proverbs 28, it says, he that turneth his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. This is Proverbs 28 verse 9. If you turn your ear away from God, your prayers will be an abomination. God will turn his ear away from you. If you turn your ear away from God, God will turn his ear away from you and your prayers will be left unheard. Be repentant and ask God to forgive you for your sins. One thing that a lot of Christians say is that we're all sinners and there's no way to be completely clean of sins, which is very true. We are in nature sinners. However, are you willfully sinning? Are you sinning unrepentantly? You can't say, um, I'm, going, I'm going to do these vices and God is going to forgive me at the end. You're willfully sinning. Isaiah 1 verse 15 through 17 says, And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yeah, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. You guys. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Long story short, if you don't want God to turn his eyes away from you and to turn his ears away from your prayers, 
You need to live a repentant life. Thankfully, Jesus sacrificed himself for us, so we don't have to worry about God not listening to our prayers. If we pray to God through Jesus Christ, we will be forgiven of our sins. And to reiterate that God is not going to hear the prayers of willful sinners, I'm going to read uh, 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Okay? God is only going to answer your prayers if you live a repentant life. Check the desires of your heart. Why are you praying that prayer? Are you praying for a promotion because you want to look better than your neighbors? Are you trying to pray for the betterment of your life because you want to be seen publicly or because you want to be helpful to others, because you want to serve the kingdom of God? Why are you making these prayers? Seek the desires, like understand why you have these desires. I'm going to read from James chapter 4, verse 3. Ye ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, that ye may consume it according to your lust. Sometimes our heart lusts for things. And lust doesn't necessarily have to be anything sexual. Sometimes we're lusting for desires that don't align with the kingdom of God, with God's will. So why exactly are you asking for these things? You have to look at your heart and see why in your heart are you asking for these things. And last but not least, have faith. Because without faith, your prayers are nothing. You can't pray to God and say you want something. I want to be successful. I want to be rich. I want to be a millionaire. And then say, well, that's too much for God to answer. But, you know, if he answers it, oh, well, you know, aim for the moon. And if you miss you, at least you're among the stars, right? Don't think like that. Don't think like, yes, that might be the case. But don't automatically think that if I aim for the moon, even if I miss, I'm, at least I'm among the stars. Just pray to God and have faith that he will answer that specific prayer that you have prayed to him. If it's according to his will, of course. But if you have that faith that it will happen, it is going to happen. There's no other way. But if you pray to God complaining every time, God, you haven't answered my, my prayer. You haven't listened to me. Why? Why is it that I'm going through this and you haven't listened to my prayers? Then it's going to be like, okay, well, you don't believe that I'm going to answer your prayers. So maybe I just am not going to answer your prayers. Your belief is that the prayers will not be answered. So therefore, I'm going to listen to your belief and do as you believe. But if you believe, you have that faith that it will be answered, like you have that that faith as small as a mustard seed, then I promise you, your prayers will be answered. Have you ever seen a mustard seed? It's so tiny. Have you ever seen a mustard tree? Do you see how a small tiny seed can produce a huge tree like that? That is the same thing as having faith. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, that tree, that the, the result of that fruit of that uh, planted seed is going to be so grand. Let me read uh, Hebrews 11 verse six. But without faith, it is important. <laughs> but without faith, it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that seek diligently or that diligently seek him so you guys and if we read Hebrews 11 that same chapter verse 1 it says faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen